news is the cell tower. I, yeah, that's what this agreement is about. <laughs> T-Mobile wants to come on the cell tower. And they've got a contract. I guess they've worked it out with the insurance company and with our attorney. She looked over the, the wants and desires and stuff. And uh, they got into a, an agreement. They, um, it's a short-term tower license agreement. Uh, what the, here's the letter from them. We, this uh, lawyer for Pharma Snyder and Snyder LLP out of Terrytown, New York. We represent T-Mobile Northeast LLC, T-Mobile in parentheses, in connection with the town's approval of the license agreement for the T-Mobile to co-locate its communications equipment at the existing town-owned facility located at the above re re reference property. We respectfully request that the town approve the agreement and issue a resolution of approval subject to permissive referendum notice included, including a seeker de determination, which I've got a short search seeker form here to read or carry on about, as a, re as a recording of the same. We further request the town clerk publish and post notice of the resolution of approval within 10 days of its adoption in, in accordance with Article 7 of New York State law, New York State town law. Okay, we um, proposed agreement, short environmental assessment form, and drawings of T-Mobile's co-location. Uh, it's kind of a, <clears throat> the sooner we, I, I think, we can tentatively agree to it. I mean, the lawyers looked it over, our insurance companies looked it over, uh, Crown Castle, which is the co, the ones that locate services on the tower, they're in agreement with it. So um, we could probably approve the, approve the contract, I would think. Um, I've got a short environmental assessment form that we've got to go over. Um, this is something that Talking with Crown Castle, they were good people to work with. They've been always very, very upfront with us. And this is the first time that, you know, you, a short environmental assessment form that we've done. I think we've got two services on this tower, and I don't remember doing this form, and especially the uh, permissive re referendum notice. That's never been an issue either. The lawyer says it's really. She doesn't see where it's a problem either, but this lawyer firm says, this is what we have to do or they're not going to come on board. So, um, but there's really nothing to it. Well, we've got a short environmental assessment form here. Um, it's the name of a project and sponsor information. It doesn't say a thing on that line, but okay. Name of action or project, T-Mobile Northeast install. Project location is 12480 County Route, County Highway, Franklin, New York, Delaware County. Brief description, a short form tower license agreement between Franklin, Town of Franklin and T-Mobile Northeast to install a 10 foot by 15 foot pad for four cabinets and a diesel generator. T-Mobile will also be installing eight antennas, four hybrid fiber cables, and RRUs on the tower. Name of the applicant is Crown Top Crown Communications LLC on behalf of T-Mobile. Um, their address is 3530 Torrington Way Suite 300, Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. Does the proposed action only involve the legislative? Adoption of a plan, local law, ordinance, administrative rule, or regulation. And it's uh, T Mobile has said, said no. Does the proposed action require a permit, approval, or funding from any other government agency? If yes, it's checked yes. Permissive referendum by the town is what we've got to pass. <clears throat> Total acreage. On the site of proposed action is 3.6 acres, total acres of physically disturbed, 
point zero zero three four four three five three acres. <laughs> it's getting pretty small. Uh, total acreage, project site, and any contiguous properties is point zero three seven five five seven three nine acres. Part four: Check all land uses that occur on or adjoining or near the proposed action. Rural, non-agricultural, industrial, and aquatic. Check. Okay. <clears throat> Is the proposed action a permitted use under the zoning regulations? Yes. Consistent, consistent with the adopted comprehensive plan. Not available. Is the proposed action consistent with the predominant character of the existing built or natural landscape? Yes. Is the site of the proposed action located in or does it adjoin a state-listed civic critical environmental area? No. Will the proposed action result in a substantial increase in traffic above present levels? No. Are public transportation, transportation services available at or near the site of the proposed action? No. Are any pedestrian accommodations or bicycle routes available on or near the site of the proposed action? No. Does the proposed action meet or exceed the state energy code requirements? Yes. Will the proposed action connect to an existing private public water supply? No. Um, will the proposed action connect to existing wastewater facilities? No. Does a project site contain or is it substantially contiguous to a building, uh, archaeological site or district which is listed in the National or State Register for Historic Places or that has been determined by the Commissioner of the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation and Historical Preservation to be eligible for listing on the State Register of Historic Places? No. <laughs> Is a product site or any other portion of it located in, a, in it or adjacent to an area designated as sensitive to archaeological sites on the New York State Historical Preser Preservation Office? No. Does any portion of the site of the proposed action or land adjoining to the proposed action contain wetlands or other Water bodies regulated by federal, state, or local agency. Yes. The proposed action physically alter <coughs> or encroach into any existing wetland or water body. No. I, I identify the typical habitat type that occur on or are likely to be found in the project site. Agricultural and grass, grasslands, basically. Does the site of the proposed action contain any specific species of animal or associated habitats listed by the state or federal government as threatened or endangered? No. Is the project site located in the 100-year floodplain? No. Does the proposed action create stormwater discharge either from point or non-point sources? No. Does the proposed action include construction or other activities that would result in an impoundment of water or other liquids? No. Has the site of the proposed action or the adjacent adjoining properties been the location of an active or closed solid waste management facility? No. Has the site of the proposed action or an adjoining property been the subject of re, 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 yeah. Mediation. Mediation. There you go, Mark. Thank you. I'm going for hazardous waste, and that's no. And this was filled out by Zachary Plummer, a real estate specialist for T-Mobile. Okay. <clears throat> would you like to look it over? And I would entertain a motion to approve of the short assessment review, pre review plan form.
as soon as they get this agreement, I understand they're going to... This is going to be another $1,500 a month. So basically, this is an antenna, right? That they're, they're, that. they're going right on the side of the tower. With other, you know, you see the round uh, discs the and disc. stuff. And, uh, that's pre I presume it's the same thing AT&T has on it and the same thing Verizon has on it. It's another cell service. Say five. Be like five fingers yeah. that are on the side. Each one of them is, you look, top one and the bottom one, each one, AT&T and uh, Verizon, each got a rounded so. end. Right. But, uh, so, the short environmental assessment form. <coughs> I think if, if everybody feels at ease with it, you know, I'd like to have a motion to approve it. So I make the motion. Okay. I'll second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. I guess we'll have to have said this, that Aye. resolution to them we did approve that. Um, the contract, that's what I look for is the numbers on it, what the hell, what, what can I tell you? Uh, it's $3,075 is what it starts at, and then there's increments every five years, I think it goes up percentages. <clears throat> it's basically the same type of deal we've done with Verizon and AT&T, I think. Um, 3000 but Crown gets Crown half. gets half, yeah, we're, we split it half. So hopefully we'll get three, uh, 15, 35, 15, 40. What about the agreement on the power bank? Have they made good on that? Well, in their share? On the changing over of the, as far as, you know, we, we uh, gave them $5,000 towards the $29,000 jobs. And so we've actually donated three months payments. You want to figure, and that's, we we won't receive or we won't pay a bill. How's that? Right. That's how we're putting in the three or six meter bank and changing. The, you know, we're going to have all of our power feed for the town is going to be underground. Well, I have all the, the poles and wires taken down. I guess we got to get a hold of Frontier and stuff about that because they got wires up there that we're using. We're using their service now to somehow get a hold of them to yeah. get them switched over too. Um, or get all the die, one or the other. Right. I think we've got to notify Frontier or whoever the carrier. You would think T-Mobile or the Crown. There's been no glitch to that or anything. They're still not on board. board they're they're still on board. Okay. Yeah, they're. Uh, they're. That's who's doing. That's where the most of the work's being done. Is there? Chad is. Uh, Mark, you got something you want to talk about? If we're, we're talking about the changeover of the electrics and stuff. Yeah, and it was just <clears throat> brought up. We were talking there, though. Chad and I the other day. Uh, he made a suggestion, you know, and this is totally up to you guys. You don't have to redo this whole thing, but because we're going to put another pad in there and put the generator on that pad, eventually you're going to have to have something to cover that. Chad thought that maybe the building we had for the bio heat there, put everything in there, stick it in there, put the uh, cutoff switch and all the banks and everything. Not not the meter pans, but right. the generator and everything in there, you know, kind of put it in one half of that and uh, save us a building. And well, save you you the generator is already sitting in there, so yeah. it might as well stay there. So Instead if you're sure you're not going to do the addition. That that's we're not that's the anything. kicker. You have that's, to right. That's why you have to rule that out that. because the addition would make it. You wouldn't be able to get to it to service the generator or anything because the building would be in front of it. But since we are not building on the town hall, putting it up against the tower, right, it, right. So I just talked to him a little bit today again about it, not in depth, but you know we were just talking back and forth, you know, of course, he wouldn't have to put the pad in so that he get that money back out of the contract. And then Paul brought up a good thing the other day when him and I were looking at it. We, the lower building, we don't have any power going to that when the power goes.
was out. So he's going to be changing over some of the uh, the panel inside. Thought we could take the switch out of there, take it to the lower building, and then we could hook the welder up to it because we have no water when power goes right out. Right now, you use the well. Your switch is inside with the welder, and that's that's a generator we have. Yeah, we just got a box on. Yeah. Yeah. We got a manual transfer switch, right. Right. but the generator has an automatic transfer right. switch, so we would no longer use that manual. I just thought we could relocate the manual down to the lower shed, and then we would have fuel and water, right. and, I, and we like could use that welder generator right. to to generate it. To generate it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good Sorry, use of supplies we already have. <laughs> yes. So I don't know as far as you know working out the stuff with uh, Chad. You know, you know pricing and right. stuff. You guys right. will have to do that. But you know, it's, it's totally up to you guys. And, mm -hmm. He got all the cable pulled today. Oh, okay. eight, eight runs pulled over to those meter pans and everything. So we're not too far off from starting to make the run towards the building. You know, so mm -hmm. you might want to talk to him as soon as you can. So the transition's close. Yeah. You know, you just I asked him the other day as far as so. Uh, you know, when we could change the electric over, and he said, you know, as soon as he got that in, then we could probably make contact and get that stuff taken care of. But he's still got to do, you know, the, the meter, or the switch, or the boxes and stuff inside the shop, too. Right. To right. Get that so over. all of the service, power, and the communications, everything will be buried? Yes. So if something new comes in, they'll be able to tap into that? And should drag be able to. some conduit or whatever. Uh, Should. Yeah. Well, we hope. There's going to be extra power. There are extra, there well, is. there's extra meter banks. Right. Yeah. All right. of that. So if they wanted to put another one on the tower, mm -hmm. that's going to be all in place. And actually, you could put three more meters on right, right. now. He's got it up. He's got three on now. He's going to put up six of them. He's yeah. going to have six, six, six banks bank, there. Yeah. Six banks, yeah. Six banks. He's yeah. going to put the actual meters in them. I think he's going to he won't put the meters in, but he'll have he the boxes. be all boxes in yep. there. Because that T Mobile will take one of those. Yeah. So there'll only be two more that could possibly come on. No, and one of those is ours. No, no. So no. One of ours there's right now there's three. We we've got a meter meter, T Mobile oh, okay. and AT T does. Right. Not T Mobile, Verizon. T Mobile T -Mobile. one. So we'll have four used right. used and two more that'll be Left over that, uh, that's what uh, Crown wanted to do, just in case they get another service come on. Hey, it's all there. Oh, so Simple, cool. all, all taken care of. So and that's. Uh, from those meter pans down over to our buildings where the rest of our stuff will be right. on separate lines. What all is involved in the transition to switch that box over to the other building? A lot. There is. I think so. You gotta change it from three phase to single phase. See, so there's like three boxes. four, yeah, three or four boxes. Yeah, actually panels. we got a fourth box. Yeah. Into the old ice house? No, no, no. Oh, that's, no a, that's, that's a different. That's a different surface. Simple, right? yeah. That, yeah, that's that. Yeah, that should be simple. Right. The only yeah. one that's three phase is a right. Compressor. Which that's that's oh, irrelevant. I'm just thinking taking that from when we're out of service. Sure. And putting that manual disconnect over yeah. there should not be a big. No, deal. that's not a big deal. Right. No, that and I think included in this price was a concrete pad for the other generator, right. which you're not going to do. Right. So I'm thinking that'll it should you know, should, should yeah it shouldn't easily. be yeah. easily yeah. Yeah. There's some remarks from the lawyer and stuff. Yeah, that shouldn't be that much of a thing right. as far as changing those. I think he may get the tower switched over. The way he sounded, he's going to get the tower electricity switched over before our electricity yeah. because he may run ours, but it's going to be he's got a lot of wiring to do in the building before he can actually right, make the that's switch. Be switched right yes. the phase. Yeah. But I think while you're digging, it would be a good time to get a hold of Frontier and Delhi and run wires when you're digging. And that's what I was getting at before, was if something else comes in, 
Will there be any empty conduits that they can utilize to? Dell is in town work? right now, and they've got all kinds of wire. I don't think it would be, you know, right. we'll put hard. Instead of putting just one pipe in, instead two of right. three, I mean, they're not so you got a chance to get you know, them into place. place. Yeah. I'm sure there's code for how it's got to be. Right. You know. Right. Yep. For each one. Yeah. yeah. But again, I'm thinking either. If something comes along new, and if they have a bigger conduit or, or whatever, is there any way to, to make it so that that's in place? To bury an extra, yeah, like a spare conduit? Yeah. Should be. Probably. So I, I guess, you know, what we've done, the question was, the electric is in town, the net, you know, changed. As much as somebody, whether it was Nysig or whether it was Crown Castle or somebody said, you know, we've got AT and or Fr Frontiers giving us our internet and telephone, right? And that comes in on the phone line with the electric. So that's either got to. They're not giving us internet. No, they're selling us. Right. <laughs> no, but I mean, they're supplying our internet yes. and telephone. Yes. So what we've got to do is either put them on a line. You know, they got to go around the pole the other way around because those poles are coming down. Right. But yeah. Delhi also said whatever Frontier was doing, they would beat, if you recall. Well, so, I mean, right. yeah, I would keep that in mind. That day, he said that. What's yeah. that? Right in the meeting that day, he got quizzed about it. That's what right. he said. But I wouldn't give him a bill either. I would let him come up with a price and we'll tell him if he's low they, enough. They want to see our bill. And then don't give it to him. Well, I haven't. I haven't. I know it's. And they want to see what what we're paying now and see if it how they can <laughs> it's not <beat> how it <laughs> works. <laughs> I mean, it, well, he knows what we need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, it shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, they have it all listed out on their website, and yeah. you know, maybe they, I, you know, they don't have a breakdown specifically for municipalities or anything. But right. but there should certainly be. shouldn't be any more. Right. Right. Yeah. Than what they're advertising. No, no, I'm sure it wouldn't be more. But that's also for time frame too because of the grants that they got for putting all this stuff I in. I do know if they put stuff in though, like it's, it's, it's the reason I asked about the, the conduit and underground, mm -hmm. that they will charge for that. Right, right. So it would behoove us I, again to have put an extra if, if that happens to too. get it in. So it's all done. All they gotta do is put, I mean I believe they'll even put a wire through it. Put they'll put the <laughs> wire through and I believe they'll even give you the conduit. I mean not that it's I don't think it's right. that no, I tell them that's what they're talking. They'll they'll give you the pipe or whatever you put that you bury if you want you on your property. Yeah. But this is you know. But you're right. It's probably be better to and ask you know Chad. You know, put a couple. I don't know, if it's just single wire going through it, you don't need a two inch pipe. You know, either one inch pipe or if you got two inch pipe, maybe you could put two or three feeds through it to to supply. You can't mix electric and communication. Oh. No, I don't think so, but you could put a conduit in for, for the fiber. You could probably run them. For, I don't know. But I would, I would think you could, but I don't know. So you got your fact that probably a company, like, you know, our fiber was somebody, you know, something happened and well, the cable was rubbed, you know, who knows. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, then we've got a re resolution for the seeker. Have we got a resolution to approve the contract with T-Mobile? A proposed agreement with T-Mobile. Yeah. The motion has been made. Do we have a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. Thank you.